Earlier this year, when LEGO released Captain Rex's Y-Wing Microfighter, there was a bit of debate in the LEGO Star Wars community whether this was a good or bad thing. And I agree with all of you watching. I thought that set was amazing. And to get Captain Rex that detailed of a minifigure in a Microfighter, a 10, 11, 12 pound set now, and I dread to think how much they'll be in 10 years time, is an amazing idea from LEGO. It's something they have always done. And just to prove how long they've been putting UCS figures in regular LEGO sets, I thought I'd take a look back through my collection. So I've actually added every set that I own, the full set of, not including the ones I have rebuilt along the way and parted out on Bricklink, because I have cut a few corners onto brick set, and it's given me all the minifigures in my collection that have been in a UCS set, or more for most of them, because some characters like R2 and 3PO have been in probably as many UCS sets as regular sets at this point. No, they have been in a lot of regular sets too. So we'll be taking a look at that in a second. But initially today, I was going to rebuild my minifigure display. Well, taking off all of my UCS minifigures has cleared so much room. So I think I'll still do that. And that would have been yesterday's video. So if it went well, check it out. I'll leave it on the end screen. If you haven't already, if you've already watched it, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope it turns out as well as I expect. But I think we jump straight into it because my first UCS minifigures were actually in my second ever set. And that set is Luke's Land Speeder from all the way back in 2009. All five of these appeared in the very first UCS Death Star, which is really, really cool. They actually appeared in a later version. You can see Kenobi and Luke don't have the correct heads compared to the release day UCS Death Star. But a year later, they updated the set to match the figures available on the shelf at the time. Speaking of UCS Death Stars, there were two of them. And as you can see, the second one, I was getting a lot more Lego at the time. So we do have a ton more minifigures, but we've still at the front Got that Kenobi, Luke, R2, Trooper and 3PO. There are two Stormtroopers and I have made sure I've even got the heads under all these helmets as accurately as I can. Even the hair colour on Luke, which I don't like that brighter colour, the light tan. I much prefer the dark tan, but I've replaced it just to match what came in that set. And I have 21 out of 27 of the figures from this second Death Star. So... I'm definitely going to look to try and get the other six. And these will look great on one of those Smith's LED display units. So perhaps we can add that later on. The next minifigure is this Han Solo, which if you can guess what UCS set this Han Solo came in, I'd be quite impressed. It is the UCS Slave 1. Boba Fett is the real grab for this UCS set. But I have the Han Solo from it. I got it in one of the many Desert Skiff and Sarlacc sets that we've now got. It's got to be coming up to the same amount of Luke Land Speeders we have seen. And then we have an odd one, and that is the UCS Sandcrawler. I got the droid from the X-Wing, which was actually given to me by my brother. And the two Jawas came in a battle pack, which is... Honestly, one of the funnest battle packs we've had to date. This R2-D2 is new. I've not included any duplicate minifigures on this list because if we have a look at the Death Star one, it has a larger receptor than the Sandcrawler. In fact, the Sandcrawler did have two versions released with them both, but I believe the smaller receptor on it was the most common that people own. So I had to include them this way around. And then we move on to... I'm sure many of your favourite UCS sets because it is quite a popular one, the Endor Village with Wicket and Logray. The only two Ewoks I own. I'm pretty sure there's another Ewok head somewhere. I'll have to have a little rummage through for that. But these are the only two figures from the Endor Village. I'd love for them to remake that set because there are so many good minifigures like the Ewok Village layer that we could get again and especially some of the Endor Rebel Troopers. And now... The UCS Falcon, which you wouldn't recognise it by looking at the figs, but it did come with Ray, Finn and BB-8, and it did come with a few other minifigures I have, but I don't own the correct versions, such as Old Han, who I have the one from Taco Dana, whereas the UCS Falcon includes the one from the Raftar Escape, so another commonly available minifigure. And then we also have Han and Leia, who do have... Separate heads, I think they have breathing masks on the other side. Now, this isn't all my minifigures. In fact, there is a set 
that I own more of the minifigures for than the second UCS Death Star, and that is the AT-80 UCS set. Out of nine of the minifigures, I own 8.9. We'll get to that 0.9 in a minute because I have Luke here who I definitely prefer my custom Firestar printed arms with the white gloves which are screen accurate but this is how he appears in the UCS 8080. General Viz is the same from the playset with dual molded legs added on. In fact I'm pretty sure most of these troopers and pilots are the exact same as the playset that come out. I think a little beforehand which I'm very thankful of because me and my friend purchased this because the 8080 looks so cool and had the UCS one been available at the same time as this, I'm pretty sure we probably would have broke our banks even further. I can show off the heads on screen just to prove they are the exact same minifigures. And then we've got four of these troopers, which are as seen on the UCS box R, or if you have the set, they're the exact same from there. But the fifth one, I don't own the head for because again, I didn't get the 2022 advent calendar. It's really coming back to haunt me. So I am going to order the head at some point and complete my collection of UCS 8080 minifigures. So perhaps we'll change that UCS set when we hit 10K. As I've already got all the figures for the 8080, I can still end up building a giant 8080. But I think we'll be looking at another UCS set. So let me know down in the comments what UCS set you'd like to see me build when we hit 10k subscribers. Now they're not the only minifigures I have, there are a few more just over to the right here. In fact, let's bring them a bit more front and center because we have Grogu who you probably won't recognize but he was in the UCS Razor Crest. It's the same Grogu that's appeared pretty much everywhere so I couldn't have left him out from this list. Of course the infamous now Captain Rex from Captain Rex's Microfighter playset which is an amazing figure and I really like that extra detail on the head of the scar from where his inhibitor chip has been removed. We've then got the UCS Luke Skywalker from his X-Wing which this has been made using the Luke from all oh, the 2021 X-Wing playset I believe the one with Jandor Dana and Leia and of course R2-D2 in the back of the X-Wing and the new key ring that comes with that awesome arm printing and the dual molded printed legs from the UCS version. And then from this year's UCS, I couldn't not include this little mouse droid that I built, which is probably the cheapest on the list. I don't know, it's definitely up here with this small treadmill droid from the sand crawler i feel like these parts are even more common than that one so it's really cool a much more beefed up design compared to the second ucs death star and i really like how they've made it so big almost as big as the astromech droids in star wars so that is every star wars ucs minifigure i own in my collection let me know down in the comments which of these minifigures you own and if there's any other common minifigures from just regular non-UCS sets, perhaps even other key rings you've been able to do with it in the past. I know a few of the different magnets have included rare figures, for instance, from Star Wars, and I definitely want to be adding them either to this Smith's display in the background, or perhaps get another one, shift this over, and have a Star Wars display above my mini figure stand. But now, let's get to work on that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out all the videos on screen now, and as always, may the bricks be with you.